ahead, a retail roundup and getting wasted or not later in the show. Welcome to Three Times Square this Thursday from Reuters World Headquarters in New York. Optimistic but realistic, that's the view from Walmart executives. The world's largest retailer posting a profit that beat forecasts on sales that were below predictions. The turbulent economy a major factor, the U.S. sales so far in November are above projections. The company also disclosing it's looking into allegations of potential corruption in Brazil, China and India. This in addition to the allegations of bribery in its Mexico unit. Shares closed at 71.31 yesterday and are now down at about 68.90. Smaller rival Target beating Wall Street forecasts by selling more food and offering discounts for its cardholders. It gave a profit outlook for the crucial holiday quarter that roughly matches what analysts have predicted. Shares trading near their 2012 high of 65.80 reached in September. BP also moving higher as the British oil giant gets closer to a deal over the Gulf of Mexico oil spill from 2010. Our Jamie McGeever joins us from London. Jamie, what do we know now about the possible settlement? Uh, Lisa, to be honest, we don't actually know a great deal yet. I mean, we're all trying to figure out how much this fine is going to be. What we do know, um, almost for certain, is that it will be a record fine. And, of course, this is for criminal charges really related to that uh, disaster in 2010 in which 11 workers were killed. Now, a decision from the U.S. Department of Justice is expected later today, uh, and the fine will almost certainly top the $1.3 billion paid by uh, Pfizer in uh, 2009, and that was for a marketing fraud. Um, this will make it the biggest criminal penalty in U.S. history. Now, the BBC's Robert Peston, uh, widely respected, um, if, if you will, uh, reporter here in the U.K., he's saying the fine will be between 3 and $5 billion. Um, uh, now, that's a large chunk of change, and you would expect BP shares to be falling, but as you say, no, they're up. They were up 1% earlier, easily outperforming the sector index and the FTSE. Uh, both of which were down. Now, the feeling is once this fine is paid, whether it's two, three, four, or even $5 billion, BP can move on unencumbered by the uncertainty. Of course, how long this lasts does remain to be seen. Lisa? That's right. We'll be watching that. Okay, Jamie, thanks so much from London. And now to something as American as apple pie. Baseball providing our power player of the day. It's R.A. Dickey, who's anything but a power pitcher, at age 38, the New York Mets 20-game winner became the first knuckleballer to ever win the coveted Cy Young Award. Dickey led the National League with 230 strikeouts, five complete games, three shutouts, and in innings played. He was also the only pitcher to have climbed Mount Kilimanjaro last summer and blog about it for the New York Times. Internet radio company Pandora opening Pandora's box. That's how some very famous artists viewed the company's support of a new bipartisan bill Billy Joel, Rihanna, and Missy Elliott are among the artists who signed an open letter to Pandora in this weekend's Billboard magazine, opposing the company's support of the Internet Radio Fairness Act. Pandora says the bill would, quote, end the discrimination against Internet radio and establish a technology-neutral standard for how artists are paid. The artists say it would cut their royalties by 85 percent. And speaking of Billy Joel, how's this for a bottle of red? Or several? Bathers in Japan got into a tub infused with wine to celebrate the launch of the 2012 Beaujolais Nouveau season. While some may be more inter interested in sampling its nose, this was all about the body. Quote, wine's good for your health, so we made this bath to let you soak it into your skin, said a sommelier at a hot spring resort in the foothills of Mount Fuji. The bathers, of course, also got to drink to their health. That's the latest in Three Times Square this Thursday. You can follow us on Twitter at Reuters Insider and check out our Reuters YouTube channel at Reuters.com slash Reuters TV. I'm Lisa Bernhard. This is Reuters.